Now, if you love this movie as much as I do, you've probably seen other YouTube critics and stuff talking about it. They'll always say something about how Marlon Brando brought a cat onto set because he's a character actor and the cat was purring really loudly. Wow, that's really crazy. But it's infuriating to watch because for the rest of us, that's not what we're watching this movie for. Big good boy. Big good boy. Huh? So if most movie critics completely fail to understand what makes this movie so powerful, what is it? Well, I'll give you my opinion. What The Godfather is about is about masculinity and tradition. If you look at it from this angle, it's easy to understand why this movie became one of the most popular, dominant movies in movie history. Because The Godfather fills a niche that almost no other movie makers are filling. Obviously mob life is an evil and destructive thing and countless shows and movies have gone to show that. Now when we watch The Godfather, Michael is our main character. In the beginning of the film, he's completely disconnected from their entire culture. The reason being, he doesn't want to get involved with the criminality of it, he finds it disgusting. In a way, this movie is a little bit like The Lion King. What does Simba do after the death of his dad? I don't want to be a part of it. I don't even care about my herd. Hey, Akuna Matata. It's the same thing Michael Corleone tries to do in this family. When we see Michael Corleone at the beginning of this movie, he's incredibly individualistic. He's filled up his life with achievements that really mean nothing to him anyway. I've got a girlfriend, I've got my own life here, I'm an experienced war vet, uh, you know, people respect me, I don't need this. But when his father gets shot, something becomes clear to him. Sometimes people say you don't know what you have till it's gone. And in that moment, he almost loses family. Really, what it's about is him realizing that the one thing he's missing is the one thing he's trying his hardest to stay away from. I'm with you now. I'm with you. This is why people remember that scene in the restaurant. Yes, Mike was going into a restaurant to kill the two men who tried to have his dad killed. Now, for the first time, we begin to see Michael Corleone, Vito's son, taking on the mantle of masculinity and striving to be the head of his family. He realizes very clearly, the only way to be a real man is not to do things for your own sense of pride, but to do things for the benefit of your family and for the people closest to you. Now let's talk about Vito Corleone. Despite what people think about this character, what he really symbolizes is a male's commitment to family. In this film, it's viewed through the lens of the mafia, but as us watching it at home, what we're watching is ourselves, or at least what we wish we could be. And this is a character that men automatically feel a desire to replicate. After Vito Corleone is shot and nearly killed, he's brought back home on a stretcher and surrounded by his family. Babies are brought before him so that he can have the satisfaction of watching the next generation. In this scene, we see what Vito Corleone means to his family. That we can see the fruit of this man's harvest. Everything he does, everything he works so hard for, all those moments he spends in the darkness build up to this. You can see him kind of reaching out his hand as the baby's there. It's like he knows he's on death's door and he just doesn't want to let go of this one thing that really matters to him. The theme of the movie becomes very clear. A man who does not spend time with his family is no man at all. Because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. Mm. Now here's where I believe Michael Corleone's story takes a turn for the worst. Now when Michael is in Italy, he gets a glimpse of what his life could look like if he abided by the same morals that his father abided by. He goes back to his hometown and there he sees the most beautiful woman. Now if Michael Corleone is attempting to become the classic archetype of a man, this woman is the classic archetype of a woman. When he first sees her, she's playing a mother figure to another one of the young girls in the village. In this moment, Michael Corleone sees his possible future. He does marry this woman and he really tries to his best to make his dream a reality. But here's what tragically happens soon after. She's blown up in an assassination attempt that was meant for Michael. In an instant, Michael Corleone is convinced of one thing, that his family will never be safe if he doesn't rid himself of the enemies that are out to get him. And thus, his downward spiral. Meanwhile, Vito Corleone's Michael father does the exact opposite. 
Now, I won't go into it, but one of Vito's sons is killed in the movie. He calls a meeting with the five big mafia families. He tells them all that he does not wish to take revenge, but only wishes for peace to come. You talk about vengeance. Is vengeance going to bring your son back to you? Or my boy to me? I forgot the vengeance of my son. How does Vito Corleone die? The head of the family? The image of true masculinity? With his grandson. He cuts up an orange to look like two fangs, puts it in his gums and goes to scare the little kid. He's an old man, he can barely move, but he pulls himself out of the chair. Um, it's like his grandson's joy is just contagious. And he turns from this dark, very serious character and begins laughing. And he becomes completely disarmed and he gives up his entire tough exterior just to make his grandson laugh, just to make him happy. He hobbles through the field with his grandson and in this moment, he's not a mafia boss, he's not a tough man. He's just a man trying to show his grandson the one thing that truly matters, that he loves him. In that moment, he has a heart attack and he goes. <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, surely that moment is one of cinema's most beautiful scenes. Now, I think I should make something clear. This video essay does not attempt to condone the actions or lifestyle of any of the characters in this movie. But amongst the darkness and the evil criminal underworld of The Godfather, there exists a universal story. The story of a boy trying to become a man, but becoming deceived, confused and bitter. And the story of a man retaining his legacy and holding on to the one thing that really mattered to him, family. Thank you for watching Now You Sleep, and stay tuned.